talk is Jean-Baptiste Janin uh, from Michigan, who's going to be talking about rational co-inductive streams. Jean-Baptiste. Thanks, Sam. Um, OK, so um, I'm going to talk. Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, ongoing work on uh, programming with streams. So in a language like OCaml, for example, uh, which is a core by value functional language, um, you can write, uh, you can create streams, like real streams, which if you don't know what a stream is, it's like an infinite list. So for example, you can write, write let rec, let rec s, like recursively equals one zero s, which means basically you're creating the stream that does one zero, one zero, one zero, one zero. This stream here, that's right here, one zero, one zero, one zero. You can also like, you know, combine the stream with another, with, with, with more values by saying let, uh, let actually you don't need the rec here, you say let t equals three, four s, and you get three, four, one zero, one zero, one zero. Okay. Well, this is great, but there's not very much you can do with those streams. For example, if you try to compare s and t here, it's going to tell you that it's false because it looks at the first element and it sees that the first element is different, so clearly they're different. Okay. But if you, if you try to compare s and s, it's going to run forever. Basically, it compares the first element, it sees they're equal, it's like, okay, well, we'll try to see the second element, they're equal, then it tries to look at the third element, or they're equal, and then it tries to look at the fourth element, and it just goes forever. Okay? Similarly, if I try to ask OCaml, um, is the number two in my, in my function, like mem2, the mem2 function, I could create it just simply, just like, a, like you would do in a list, just you don't have the, the empty case, or the base case. And if you say mem2 on s, same thing, it's just going to run forever. It's going to try to find it in the, first, in the first place, in the second place, forever. Okay? Um, and we'd be interested in programming with streams. Um, in, uh, first, by using, so we want to be able to do those constructs that I said without them running forever in a natural co-recursive construct because we, will use, we want to use the habits of the programmer to use things like let track, but while leveraging the powers of recursion and of pattern matching extra, just to use the, all, the, um, all the habits of um, OCaml programmers. But importantly, we want to do this in a core by value discipline. And this is like a choice we make. Of course, you know, programming with streams in a core by name discipline, you just thunk things and just do core by name and it works. But there are things you cannot do. For example, if you do mem2, like in core by name is going to like, uh, it, could, it can return true or it can just, just run forever at the same time. There is, it will never return false, for example, in core by name, right? It will never tell you, well, two is never there. Okay, so we want to be able to actually like get a get a closed answer on these kinds of questions. So in previous work, we've worked on a on, on a language that uh, we called CoCaml. Okay, and instead of just writing let rec, we asked the, the programmer to write let co rec, which just says it's a recursive function, but it works on co-inductive types on those on those streams that which more generally can be thought as co-inductive types. Um, so if I have this function um, let co rec mem two, I basically just do my it's just like a normal functional camel. You just you just put co here, and then you only you only you don't use the you don't write the base case, and um, and if you think about what's going on here in your mem two, you can think of it. Okay, my mem two of t is going to return either three equals two, which is this case, or mem two of t two. Okay, mem two of t two is going to be equal to four equals two or mem two of s. Okay, mem two of s here is going to be the comparison one equals two or mem2 of s2, and the mem2 of s2 is 0 equals 2, or mem2 of s. And if you look at this, and you squint a little bit, you can look at those as variables, and you basically have four variables and four unknowns. Okay? And you can just solve it. Okay? So a set of four equations with four unknowns. You can actually solve it with a fixed point operator here. Uh, in different cases, there are different possible operators, but here it's, it's a fixed point. So I write it here. I say just iterator false. False is just like my base for the iterator, where I, where I iterate it from. And it works. In CoCaml, it works. You can just say that, and it just returns false. OK? So, so you can do that. And this works. Um, this allows CoCaml basically allows to nat naturally use recursion on co-inductive types. And it works on those streams, but it works on more general co-inductive types, like trees, abstraction tax trees, this kind of thing. But it's limited to regular co-inductive types. What is regular? In the context of streams, it basically means it's a stream that keeps repeating. So it's a stream that will just, that will just have uh, a basically a head, and then it just basically has this 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay? And the question I'm asking here, which is now work in progress, is can we extend this work to larger classes of streams? Because this is cool, but it's kind of limited. We can't do that much. Okay. And I'd like to 
extend it to, um, to a concept of streams that's called rational streams. And a rational stream comes from uh, Rutan uh, in the paper in 2001. And what is a rational stream? It's a, rational, it's a stream that can be defined by its first k element. So I just give it, uh, give it its first s0 to sk minus 1. And uh, I, I have to define s of n plus 1 as a linear combination of the k, the k previous ones. So for example, the Fibonacci function that hopefully all of you know is, um, is, 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 a, is a rational streams because it can be defined as uh, the zeroth element is zero, the first element is one, and then all the other elements are just the sum of the previous two elements. Okay. Um, Rutan in his paper, and this is important, he proves that those, um, those rational streams can be represented as, um, as a weighted, what he calls a weighted stream automaton. So he has these kinds of automata that basically represent exactly the class of, weighted, of, uh, of rational streams. So what's a weighted stream automaton? We can look at one here on top. Q, the state Q, represents a stream. And how to read it is to say the first element of the stream is S0. Okay? And the tail of the stream is R1 times the stream Q1 plus R2 times the stream Q2 stream Q2 plus Rn times the stream Qn. And this is finitely branching. I only have a finite number of those branches here. Okay. So it's well defined like this. Okay. And for example, here's an example of, a, of an element, of a, of a weighted stream automaton. This, if we can look at, the, at the, um, the stream represented by the state Q2, it says, well, my first element is 1. And my tail is exactly the stream Q2. So the second element is going to be 1. The third element is exactly Q2. So Q2, Q2 is really 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. It's the stream of 1 which happens to be regular, but it's also rational. Okay? But Q1 here, the stream represented by Q1, its, its first element is 0, so it's 0. The second element is itself plus the Q2, the one represented by Q2. So I get, I get 1 plus this 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So for the first, second element, I get 1. And then I, for the third element, I actually end up adding it twice, and I got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 extra. Okay? So I get something that's definitely not regular here. Okay, so Rutan proves that a stream is rational if it then can be represented as a weighted stream automaton. And there's another property that says that every regular stream is rational, which says, okay, we actually like extend the regular stream we had, we had before. So to program with rational stream, the idea is that instead of representing a regular stream by a finite state automaton, we're going to represent a rational stream by a weighted stream automaton, and then kind of try to do the same things. So it's work in progress. Uh, Multi-branching is a challenge for generating the equations, but what really saves us is that uh, we have a finite number of states. So we're really close because we have a finite number of states. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, so, so the pros here are that by construction, we can get uh, the tail, the addition, multiplication, division of streams, and we remain called by values. And, uh, but yeah, so right now we still have a technical issue that the generation of equations may not finish. We need to find uh, a, a way to, to generate them. And, um, and to conclude, so, I think the, the big message is that to compute co-recursively the data structure on the streams of co-inductive types, it needs to have a finite representation in memory, okay? And this is what the weighted stream automaton is here. And it has to be a finite representation that is well suited for recursive calls. Okay. And thank you. Okay, again, we have time for a couple questions. Um, in your system, if you had a stream of just the number zero repeated, um, would you be able to program a function with co-rec that computed the sum of that and have it figure out that the sum is zero? I have to think about this for a minute. Uh, yes, I think so. We, you can do it with the, with the iterator, yeah. I'd have to double check, I have to try, but, but I, think, I think we can do it, yeah. More questions? Yeah, why don't you? So this may actually be a question about your previous work, but um, so I can imagine defining a map function for lists as I would normally. I could also define a co-recursive map function for streams. Yeah, that's, that's one of the, our normal examples, yeah, our like, standard examples, yeah, can do it, yeah. Uh, which one should I, which ones, 
do, does either apply in the other case? Can I use the co-recursive one for, for normal lists, or can I sort of write a co-recursive one that works for normal lists? So the one for lists doesn't work for streams, but the one for streams also works for, for lists, as long as you handle the base case. Okay. So you can have a type. You can define a type that's only streams by just saying, I only have the cons case. But you can have, if you take your normal, actually the type list in OCaml, you can write infinite lists with it. It's actually a stream and list type. Right, you can you have the two you have two constructors, and if you write the F map on this, uh, the map on this, uh, you get you get what you expect, and it works on both test and strings. Okay, let's thank Jean Baptiste again. Okay, our next.